In this video, I'll show you how to get rid of background noise in an audio recording using Audacity. Hi, my name is David and if this is your first time watching my video tutorials and you get value from the content that you watch, kindly consider liking this video and sharing it with your friends. Background noise can be irritating. For example, if you have a fan or AC in your house that keeps rotating and revolving when you're recording your audio files, then that can act as an irritant to anybody that's listening or consuming your content. Let's say you're doing a podcast, then that is going to act as background noise and some people may not like that. So in this video, I'll show you how to remove the background noise step by step inside Audacity. So I have an audio available. And when you look at this particular audio, it doesn't seem like there's any noise of any sort. Now, if I play it, you may not even hear the noise. But let's say, uh, looking at this particular audio, the levels are extremely low. It's going to be a little bit difficult to hear what is going on. So let's say you, we want, first of all, uh, just because everything looks normal, we want to normalize it to a threshold that is acceptable or easily listenable to, or that you can easily hear uh, in a recording. You don't need to bump up uh, the audio or volume in whatever gadget that you're using. So let's press on one, uh, control A and let's go to effect, click on normalize and let's say we want to normalize our audio peak that is the highest peak to about minus three decibels. Just click OK and our audio is going uh, to be bumped up. Now when you look at this particular uh, side now you can see some frequencies available here. Now if we play our audio Hi, this is an audio. You may also not want or may not hear that. Unless you're very attentive, then this may be something that is going to affect the audio recording. If you're also recording uh, this particular audio in a noisy place, uh, mostly let's say fan noise, then the fan noise is going to be picked as background noise. So the first step that you need to do is when recording any audio, always leave some sections that have space that you can select as a noise print. So let's say we want, or we know this is the, the noise that we want to take off. We can just select it and play. And since we may not be hearing it because it's extremely low, then we can just select it and then go to effect, noise reduction. Now, by default, there are different things here. The first step is you need to select a few seconds uh, so that you can get the noise print. Let's say we've selected that particular section and click on get noise profile and then everything goes off. You may think that nothing has happened, but when you click it again and press on control A, go back to effect, noise reduction. And from this particular section, you can reduce uh, the noise reduction, set the filters to what will work for you. For example, let's say we just work with the default that I have here. 12 for the noise reduction, sensitivity, and a frequency smoothing of three. Let's say we just click OK, but you can also preview. If this was noise that was easily audible, just make sure you listen for the preview as you adjust to your liking. Let's click OK. And what happens is that that particular noise point disappears. Now, something else that you might need to know is that depending on the noise level here, it may also result in uh, removal of some frequencies from the audio. Therefore, the type of noise treatment or noise reduction that you do will affect the audio as well. But for this, since the audio was minimal, it was something that was easily identifiable, then it may not affect the audio as much. So we can play again. Hi, this is an audio recording that has some background noise. When you listen to that particular audio, it's crisp, it's uh, all the good things that you want. So getting rid of background noise in an audio file, uh, even if let's say you're a transcriber and you want to ease uh, maybe the ear ache due to background noise, you can use this particular method. It's pretty easy, just make sure you have good ample sections to get a noise profile. And then once you get your noise profile, you can easily use the filters available and adjust them to your liking. This works really well if you're a podcaster 
and uh, let's say you are doing your recording in a, in a place where you have the AC turned on, it's extremely hot, you can always give yourself before you start recording a couple of seconds to get the noise profile uh, because not everybody is in a treated room to get a noise profile so that you can work on this. So that is how you get rid of background noise in an audio file using Audacity. Thanks for watching. I hope that you have learned something from this particular video. And until next time, stay safe and never stop learning. Thank you for watching.